In the vast symphony of human interaction, our ability to truly hear and understand each other is often shrouded in the intricate dance of words and energy. It's a dance we partake in daily, a dance that shapes the narrative of our relationships, our connections and our understanding of the world around us. And at the heart of this dance lies the profound concept of emotional attunement. Imagine, if you will, the delicate strands of energy that weave through the air as we speak. These intangible threads carry with them the essence of our emotions, our intentions and the very fabric of our being. It's a frequency, a vibration that resonates beyond the mere words we utter. This frequency is the unsung conductor of the emotional orchestra that plays out in our interactions. But, alas, how often do we truly attune ourselves to this silent melody? We live in a world where communication has been distilled into the mere exchange of words. We speak and listen, yet so often, we miss the nuance that leaves beneath the surface. It's as if we are trying to decipher a complex sonata while submerged in the depths of an emotional ocean. The distortion... The muffled quality of our understanding is akin to hearing sound underwater. There is a filtering effect that can cause us to dismiss crucial clues, subtle undertones that hold the key to understanding the true meaning behind the words. In our fast-paced lives, the cacophony of noise around us drowns out the subtleties of communication. We become adept at passing the literal meanings of sentences. But what about the unsaid? What about the unspoken language that reverberates through the very energy of our voices? The mental mind illusion, as I like to call it, is the illusion that our minds create when interpreting the words of others. It's a cognitive sleight of hand, a trick that can lead us astray if we're not careful. We hear the words, but do we truly listen? Do we attune ourselves to the emotional frequencies that accompany them? Consider, for a moment the power of a single word spoken with different intonations. Take the word love, for instance. Uttered with warmth and tenderness, it becomes a melody that resonates with affection. Spoken with sharpness and anger, it transforms into a discordant note that reverberates with tension. The same word, yet worlds apart in its emotional resonance. Now, extend this concept to an entire conversation. How often do we miss the subtle shifts in emotional timbre, the ebb and flow of sentiments that colour the spaces between words? It's in these spaces that the true essence of communication resides. Emotional attunement requires a deep connection to the energy that permeates our conversations. It demands a willingness to be present, to step beyond the surface of words and dive into the undercurrents of emotion. It's about hearing with intelligence, a form of intelligence that extends beyond the analytical realm and into the realm of emotional acuity. Picture a conversation as a dance of energies, a delicate choreography where each participant contributes their emotional notes to the unfolding melody. To truly hear, we must attune ourselves to the rhythm, the pitch and the resonance of these emotional frequencies. It's not just about decoding the words. It's about deciphering the emotional signature that accompanies them. The mental mind illusion, however, often leads us astray. Our minds, in their eagerness to make sense of the world, can impose interpretations that align with our preconceived notions. We hear what we expect to hear, filtering out the dissonant chords that may challenge our established beliefs. This selective hearing creates a distorted reality, a mirage of understanding that veils the true depth of human connection. Consider the scenario of a heated argument. Words may be flung like arrows, each carrying its own emotional payload. In the heat of the moment, it's easy to become entangled in the literal meanings of these words. But what if we were to strip away the verbal armour and expose the raw emotions beneath? The anger, the hurt, the vulnerability? These are the unspoken truths that echo in the emotional frequencies, waiting to be acknowledged. It's not just about what is said, it's about what is felt. Emotional attunement invites us to be attuned not only to the spoken words, but also to the unspoken emotions that linger in the spaces between. It requires a certain vulnerability, a willingness to open ourselves to the emotional currents that flow beneath the surface. Think of it as listening with your heart, not just your ears. The heart, that metaphorical seat of emotions, has its own form of intelligence, an intelligence that transcends the boundaries of language and logic. When we attune ourselves to this emotional intelligence, 
we become conduits for a deeper, richer form of communication. Yet, the challenges are manifold. The noise of everyday life, the distractions that clamour for our attention, can drown out the subtle nuances of emotional expression. We may find ourselves caught in the current of our own thoughts, navigating the waters of conversation with the clumsiness of one deaf to the emotional symphony playing out around them. Moreover, the mental mind illusion can act as a formidable barrier. Our minds, shaped by experiences, biases and expectations, can construct a narrative that may deviate from the true emotional landscape of a conversation. We may hear words through the filter of our own assumptions, missing the true essence of what is being communicated. To overcome these challenges, we must cultivate a mindful presence, an awareness that extends beyond the words themselves. It's about pausing, taking a breath, and allowing ourselves to be fully present in the moment. In this stillness, we create a space for the emotional frequencies to be heard, for the nuances to emerge from the background noise of everyday chatter. Consider, for instance, the power of silence in communication. Silence is not merely the absence of words. It's a canvas upon which emotions can be painted. A pregnant pause, a quiet sigh. They speak volumes in the language of emotional attunement. Yet, in our haste to fill the void with words, we may overlook these subtle cues. To truly hear with intelligence, we must also be attuned to our own emotional landscape. How often do we speak without fully understanding the emotions that drive our words? Our own emotional frequencies contribute to the overall resonance of a conversation. By cultivating self-awareness, we become attuned not only to the emotions of others, but also to the symphony of our own internal states. Imagine a world where emotional attunement is the cornerstone of communication. In this world, conversations become a dance of souls, an interplay of emotional energies that connect us at a profound level. Words are not just vessels of meaning, they are carriers of emotion, each imbued with the unique signature of the speaker's soul. In this world, misunderstandings dissipate like morning mist, and empathy becomes the currency of connection. The mental mind illusion loses its grip, and we see each other not through the distorted lens of assumption, but through the clear lens of emotional truth. It's a world where the richness of human experience is fully embraced, and the tapestry of relationships is woven with threads of understanding and compassion. But how do we embark on this journey of emotional attunement? It begins with a shift in perspective, a recognition that communication is not just a transaction of words, but an exchange of energies. It requires a commitment to being present, to listening with the entirety.